This is Star Talk. So let's go with uh, Nelson Sa, okay, from Facebook. This is a pretty decent question. I like, you know, you have to sound so surprised. Our listeners are a very sophisticated <laughs> bunch. You know what? I just realized that that I did sound that way. Well, <laughs> like, hey, this was hey, to this let it go. I would have been remiss. So lead right. on. Right. Okay. So Nelson from Facebook says this: Have NASA's zero gravity experiments had any useful breakthroughs which better our society? So I, I assume that uh, Nelson means outside of space travel, where, of course, it is directly applicable. But here on Earth, do those zero gravity experiments do anything for us down here who are living in gravity? I'd say there's one thing specifically. They mm -hmm. have uh, led to research in bone health. Really? Yeah. So these modern bone medicines uh, wouldn't probably, they probably wouldn't be the way they are without all these uh, discoveries made in zero or so-called microgravity, mm -hmm. where people have very low gravity. Your bones, you know, you look at a skeleton right. there in the museum, mm. of, let's say of American Museum of Natural History, for example. Okay. Uh, and uh, they are solid. They look like rocks, but <clears throat> bones get flexed. They're alive. And if you stop putting a load on them, they get weak. And uh, this is one of the things they discovered about astronauts in space for a long time, or even a medium amount of time. They right. lost their bones, their calcium. They would urinate it away. Is that because uh, the body just realizes, well, there's no need. I, I'm, not, I'm not using this. I don't need it. <clears throat> yes, and, and when you say realizes, uh, reacts as though it yes. realized. Yeah. Yes, that's and my non-scientific way of saying the body reacts. Body reacts, yeah. And so uh, they now people take pills to keep their bones going. And so they have speculated, people who are in this world – Speculate that you could go to Mars in nearly zero gravity just by taking the right drugs. You could keep your bones. So this is affecting health on Earth. The other thing, we've learned so much about physics writ large by watching people bounce around in microgravity. Oh, really? Yeah, you just, I mean, you just watch how things happen. You learn about torques and reactions, sort of classical physics. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Nice. All right. So, and do, do, do any of those uh, observations, as, especially when it comes to watching uh, objects or people bounce around in zero G, does that do anything in any particular industry? Like I'm thinking maybe the automobile industry might be able to, uh, you know, go ahead. Two things people all dreamt of was new alloys okay. of metal right. that would only be fabricable if I may coin the adjective, in space or in nearly zero gravity. That hasn't you know, panned out or alloyed out. And then the other one was sophisticated drug molecules that you could create more easily in zero gravity than you could create on Earth. And while that sounds reasonable, <clears throat> when you're working at the molecular level, uh, gravity isn't the main thing. Mm -hmm. It's sort of viscosity just stickiness of molecules or overwhelms the gravitational effect. With that said, mm -hmm. who knows what lies ahead, what discovery is yet to be made. And they study, spy they, we, people, astronauts, study spiders who are still able to capture pe prey even though there's zero gravity. Even in zero gravity. They have trouble spinning webs. They have trouble spinning webs, but, but they somehow to... can still... <laughs> It's a learning curve or it's a learning process. Spider right. jumps and misses, spider adjusts, jumps and gets. So there's something going on spider brain-wise right. compensating for zero gravity. So what you and I think with our inner ears and how we roll or <clears throat> keep from rolling, you think that <laughs> we think that sp you might project that on spiders and other arthropods, but they got something else going on. There's nice. something else going on. And so you wouldn't really learn that without experiments in zero gravity or or uh, near zero gravity. Well, that's great. So zero gravity, there you have it, Nelson, uh, doing uh, great things for us as a society uh, and for spiders as well. Uh. <laughs> for example. <laughs> for example. But, you know, Spider-Man, one of the things that he can do, he can do whatever a spider can. This is true. He can uh, spin, spin a webs web any, any size. size. Catches thieves just like flies. Look out. Here comes the Spider-Man. 